I love it. Just Darksiders 2, Definitive Edition. Yeah. I like that better than Remars Turd. For uh, the remaster of what the fuck is that game? Uh, Red Faction. Oh, yeah. I remember that. So the digital deluxe version of the Silent Hill 2 remake, if you pre purchase it, you'll be able to play it two days ahead. I am not going to be able to pre purchase it because I already got two games that I pre purchased, which is something I swore I would never do again. And then, and then they sprung a physical version of Faith on me, and I was like, I need it. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, the biggest, the Silent Hill 2 remake is the biggest game I'm looking forward to. That and uh, Zelda. I love that they made Laura not look like a weird creature in this one. Because <laughs> she had such a massive forehead in the original. I didn't mind how James looked originally as well. Like, I know a lot of people didn't like how James looked, but I also think the new James looks really good. Uh, there's endless bit like people are bitching about how Eddie looks. I'm like, why? What's wrong with them? I think Eddie looks perfect. Like, I don't know how they could have gotten be Eddie better, honestly. But I, like you said, uh, they don't complain about anything because nobody hates like, Silent yeah. Hill more than Silent Hill fans. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it, I, I was on Twitter and I someone, a Konami tweeted, tweeted Eddie. And of course I see a lot of praise, but then there's someone randomly, oh, there was no emotion in the acting. It's like, the acting was perfect. What do you mean? I d it just, I do not, I don't get it. Like, a after this trailer, I mean, D-Man Lives tweeted side by side with the, mirror scene at the very beginning of the game and said, I can look at this side by side and I can tell you and I can tell that Blooper Team is listening to fan feedback and I really appreciate that or something along those lines. And he got called a shill for it. Like, what the fuck? He provided you proof that they're listening. What more do you want? How can he be a shill if he insulted them at first? Right? He can't be a shill if there's ever an insult from him. Bethesda taught us that a long time ago. Wasn't it Bethesda that started that? The whole, oh, if you shit on us, you don't get a review. That sounds like something Bethesda might do. Yeah, I remember that was a huge thing with game journals back then. Where it was, if you ever insulted anything they made, they wouldn't send you an early copy. I'm pretty sure Bethesda was the starter for that, because... Dishonored 2, I think, was the game I started hearing about that shit. I have not played Dishonored 2. I, I played 1. If Yeah, I rem you said you didn't care for it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I liked it enough to finish it, but that's about it. Yeah, I would say you probably won't like 2, though, because it's kind of more the same. I mean, obviously, they've improved on stuff. It's definitely, if you loved the first, you'll, you'll love the second one, basically. It's a, it's a Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom situation. <laughs> Which, I wasn't wild about, no, no pun intended. <laughs> nice. Wasn't wild about Breath of the Wild. Yeah. No, I remember you. You, you, you got to where you were basically telling me to shut up. <laughs> Over I mean, that. You said nothing good about it until I would say, man, you're doing nothing complaining. And then, like, well, no, I like this and this. There were things I li like. There were things that I did like about it. Yeah. I, just, I, I think you hated it more than you would like it. But it felt, at times, it felt like it was designed specifically to annoy me. 
and no one else. Just me in specific. It was designed to get on my nerves. Look, I'll, I'll give you the weapon system is weird, enough, but I, eventually I just when I while I was playing Breath of the Wild, I eventually knew where I'm going. It's gonna break. I just need to get new weapons. Because I remember my first playthrough, I held on to weapons through almost the whole playthrough. To the point that I only had four of my actual of my fifteen slots actually free. Yeah, yeah I was so convinced like, when am I ever gonna find this weapon again? Yeah, that that was my mindset throughout the entire thing. I'm like, if I use this weapon, it's gonna fucking break, and I'm gonna be pissed. And I'm because I can't fucking repair it. But eventually, I just like, just like oh, whatever. I'll find another weapon. Well, midnight again, all's I definitely well. Get my people hate it. it stays that way, sir. I will admit, it's one of those games I can't completely replay. I feel like the replay value aren't as, isn't as high for me. As other Zelda hey, games. We got plenty of Specifically, Tears of the Kingdom. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved it, but. That's a horrible name for an end, I, <laughs> I don't know if I can go back to I just can't break Yeah, I, you've to said, it. like, like, for some reason, tw YouTube for, like, a while kept recommending me videos about Tears of the Kingdom being disappointed. I'm like, I haven't watched any videos at all about. Tears of the Kingdom. Why do you keep recommending me this? It was Which, weird. As I thought about it more and more, I definitely understand the disappointment with it. Like, ben, I well, loved course, it, don't get me wrong, course. but I've got a small room going off of right Breath upstairs. of the Wild, First door on the left. it felt, oh, my, my brother, I think I've say? said it best, there's too many solutions. There can be too right, many then, solutions. You're all set. Remember, first door on your left. Whereas I feel like Breath of the Wild had the perfect amount of solutions for the kind of game it is in but yeah Tears of the Kingdom definitely way too many solutions like to the point that you can become overwhelmed with everything yeah. again fun game I'm glad I played it but I'm really excited about that new one. I'm Yeah, Echoes of Wisdom, dude. Actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. Echoes of Wisdom. That and uh, Seed of Life, I'm really excited about that. The indie game where you play as the wolf cub. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioned that. That it does look fun. Looks like old school Zelda, which uh, I fuck. It, it, it. I was talking to the developer on Twitter, and he was like, "Yeah, I just I missed the dungeons in Zelda, so I decided to make it." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, make it myself. All right, cool." I know something people have been begging me to. Uh, so Google says there's dungeon-like structures, but there's no confirmation of dungeons in Echoes of Wisdom yet. Mm. Which, I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be very Link's Awakening-esque, so I'm sure it probably will have dungeons. Yeah. But I know something people have been begging Nintendo for a while is a Zelda maker. Yeah, so, especially after the Link's Awakening remake had the dungeon... Uh, designer that was pretty limited in what you could do. That's right, that had a little dungeon designer. I'm surprised they had a had a Zelda in the yet, because, dude, they could easily do that with the first Zelda engine. Yeah. Hell, do like with Mario, have a Link to the Past engine. Mixed uh, that would be awesome. That's my favorite Zelda game. That would be. They don't have a 3D. They don't have a. 2D you should play that sometime on on your channel. Link to the past. I, I fucking love Link to the past. I do. I have been wanting to do a, just a normal playthrough of it because I I only have randomizers of it on my channel. 
Yeah, I don't mean a randomizer, I just mean the main game. Yeah, I've been meaning to do a normal playthrough with it. So I, I do love that game. And I've never... Oh no, I've been it. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever fully beat it. That's the first Zelda I'm thinking of. I've beaten, beaten the first Zeldas a long time ago, and I wouldn't do it again without a fucking walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, sh the amount of cryptic shit you have to find in the original Zelda is wild. Yeah. So yeah, it it did, and it kind of just drives me nuts. Not gonna lie, having to find all the cryptic. Like, I know Miyamoto swears by it and says it's aged gracefully. He's wrong. There are parts of it that have aged gracefully. There are parts of it that have aged gracefully, but boy, the sense of direction sure as fuck hasn't. Yeah, I was about to say though. The exploration did not. Like when I'm actually in the dungeons exploring them and trying to solve them, it's fine. And I love it. But anything that isn't that has not aged well. Having to try and find a, fuck, a specific fucking tree that you haven't burned yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck that shit. That drives me nuts. Yeah, dude. They made it much better in Link to the Past. Yeah. I adore that game. God, I adore that game. I don't know about you. Something I always do when I play that game is as soon as I get to the dark world, I get the hammer and then I go, or no, I don't even think you. Whatever. I, um, I know I go to get the, the second mitt and then I immediately rush to get the third sword. That's the first thing I do as soon as I get to the dark world is get the third sword. I just love being overpowered like the, as soon as I'm there. Yeah. And the fact that you can do that, the fact that you don't get what you need for the third sword until like dungeon four, but you can just skip right to it is amazing. Yeah. Like I remember when I was younger, we were, me and my brother were like, You could go out of order? What? That's so cool. Die, bitch. Die, ho. What is this, a cave raid? Boy, she uh, kind of beat my ass, didn't she? It's, yeah, dude. Good thing this isn't. Oh. Mm, look, good thing this isn't Fallout, or you would have had broken limbs with that hammer. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna backtrack and hey, my healing increased some more. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Is my don't have enough to heal. should wait till the healing animation is done before I save. Oh, there we go. Okay. Still there? Oh, yeah. I was... My friend just linked me a video from that Black Myth Wukong. Hmm. The game there's does a, look pretty cool. There's a... a horse NPC. 
he's something. You think he's hot, don't you? <laughs> 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 Kind of, yeah, he's definitely good looking. I need to stop looking. There's definitely going to be a lot of porn of that coming sooner or later. It's just funny because that's one of the rules of playing that game. Don't fetishize. But, come on, dude. You can't tell that to furry skiers. Yeah. They will fetishize those characters, including the monkey. Yep. Which is funny because a lot of people I've been hearing say, the monkey's so ugly. It's like, you'd be surprised what some furries are attracted to. Some of them are attracted to weird shit. <laughs> To, to quote, um, I hate everything. Anthro planes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it's so weird that anthro airplanes are a thing in the community. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they very much are. And some of the pictures I've seen honestly don't look that bad. I know someone that is really into it. I don't know why, but he is. One of my friends is was convinced Black Myth was a fake game for a while. Just because he was saying it looked too good to be a real game. No, nope, it's very much yeah. a real game. That, that From China. Graphics. graphics nowadays are unreal. Like, People don't realize how amazing graphics have become lately. Specifically, like, the last few years. Like, that, I, I know Sony and Microsoft were like, this is the next big graphic jump, but we haven't felt a big graphic jump since the PS3 and 360. This is the next big jump I feel like we've been expecting with the last few games. Like the Resident Evil 4 remake, Callisto Protocol, Silent 2, etc. They were about this to give Callisto next... Protocol for away for free on the Epic Store. Were they? In like a week, yeah. Huh. So keep an eye out for that, y'all. Honestly, I've been considering getting the Epic Game Store for Alan Wake, so... No, oh, Alan... The I PC version of Alan Wake 2? Mm-hmm. As uh, the con the the version I have kept crashing. No, oh, that sucks. For the Series S, which I've been hearing a lot lately, how the Series S in general is making it very difficult for developers. I've heard that too. I've heard like oh. over and over again. I've heard stories about developers saying things like that about it. Yeah. So honestly, as much as I enjoy the Series S. If they wanted to, I would be up, I would be all for them cutting it off. I don't think I'm not sure Microsoft is going to let them. And it, it kind of hold, from what I've heard, it's kind of holding this generation back graphically. Yeah, dude, they need to get rid of this series. Else. Like again, I I kind of regret buying it because I, even before I could tell. There were games where it's like, okay, I made a mistake with this console. I mean, for me, the, the big no would have been the fact that it doesn't have a fucking disk drive, but that's just me. Well, I mean, my PC doesn't. Oh, mine does. I have a Blu-ray in it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've become a very... I've become a kind of collector of older games more than newer games. Just because, I don't know. I don't need a physical copy of new games lately unless I absolutely... Like, Silent Hill 2? Yes. 
I will be absolutely getting a physical copy of that. For the PlayStation 3? Or uh, 5, rather. I was about to say, PlayStation 3, that'd be fucking awesome. No, <laughs> PlayStation 5. For the PS3. <laughs> PlayStation 5. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll definitely get a physical copy for the PS5, and that'll be sometime down the road, because I want to play it for the f PC. But, uh, say, like, You like have learned to adapt to its weight, and you should go by as a journeyman of Heavy Arbor. Your plate mail is no longer damaged. Yo. But yeah, like, uh, for example, Echoes of Wisdom. I probably won't be getting a physical of that. Just because I don't know if I'll enjoy it enough. Lately, for me, it's. If I enjoy the game enough, then I'll go physical. Like Doom, of course I'm gonna get the fucking collector's edition for the Dark Ages. I've got collector's edition for 2016 and Eternal, and I do not regret it. Doom is awesome. It's my favorite franchise. I'm fucking named after it. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, when I try to look for you, I get videos of dying dogs. Ugh, that's depressing. It is. That like is not what I wanted, me. that is not what I wanted when I picked my name. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't expect YouTube to allow that shit. Most of it, like, almost none of it was a penis, but there was a video or two in a playlist I saw. Not doing their job. Oh. Shit, dude, she's destroying me a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, and, yeah. You should try and use some uh, destruction. Almost got her. Jesus Christ, where the fuck did you come from? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I don't... if I don't die here. I'm trying to not die. You know how to block or not? I feel like blocking would have a lot of situations. Oh! <sighs> Blocking the rest Give me the fucking lockpicks. Asshole. Yeah, Dark Souls is the one, is the game that taught me. Shield. Shield! I completely forgot I had a shield. Get <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm saving. Because that that was a t that was a tough fight. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I am now. I'm 
I got lost. <laughs> Trying to run away from that guy and not die. <laughs> I chased you too deep. There's a wolf. Black wolf we call him. Hmm. I mean, this game's supposed to be really fucking good. There's a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of furry stuff. But there's a lot of stuff furries would go crazy in it. Uh, I'm, okay. sure, I'm sure whenever F.A. is back, there will be lots and lots and lots and lots of porn. I know the owners have it again. But they're just trying to fix it now. Yeah, so far the bosses I've seen are... A giant wolf... A giant tiger, and that's it. Jesus Christ, there's another one. Your guardian also seems to be a headless guitar player, which is unique. But apparently, like you said, this is like heavy, like Chinese myth. Yeah. Based on the Chinese myth, Journey to the West, to be specific. Oh. Uh, it looks super good. Give me your lockpicks. All right, I survived another one. There's a lot of enemies in this fucking cave. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Okay, so of course they have a Dark Souls-like NPC set up. It doesn't play like Dark Souls, I don't think. No. Like, a lot of people were expecting it to, for some reason. Well, that's what it looked like. And that's kind of what you just kind of expect with games like this nowadays, is Dark souls this gameplay. But, no, it's more like God of War and DMC. Which I'm fine with, because I fucking love those, too. I am definitely okay with it as well. But it's got uh, Dark Souls-like NPCs, meaning if you miss one... In a chapter, they'll probably end up dying or you know, And you will have missed whatever you can get from them. Which I honestly don't mind that setup. It incentivizes exploration. Secret energies of the human body have not surrendered their mysteries easily to you. You are now an apprentice of restoration and can cast apprentice level restoration spells. That level up didn't heal you. There, I got one of them. You can't drink shines. What? Apparently there's a certain limit to how many you can drink. <sighs> Jesus Christ. GG. At least I'm getting lots of lock picks. I 
And lots of pra I can't believe I survived that. I thought for sure I wasn't going to. So I'm sorry to say, I think I'm starting to crash hardcore. Okay. I'll find a place to start. I'll find my way back out and then we'll stop. Sorry. No, it's fine. Get like three I'm episodes. Actually, yeah, I was about to say, I'm actually kind of surprised how long I lasted. So I was hoping COVID was nearly gone, but I think it's still deeper in the. I mean, at least you can talk now. Oh, yeah, dude, my throat isn't fucking killing me now. Yeah, it, it got to a point where talking too much would start hurting. Unfortunately, Ugh, check out the energy sapping. I've been loving that. Um, watching that Kingdom Hearts retranslated. Hmm. It's What's that? It's basically like that Paper Mario thing. Um, it takes all the dialogue, the voice dialogue, basically, and uh, translates it back to Japanese, then back to English. And it's, it obviously makes for some hilarity. A bunch of people, like, re it. And it ends up being, instead of uh, Sora being the key master, he is the key dictator. <laughs> and Mickey Mouse is not King Mickey, he is God Emperor Mickey. It's so good. Okay, let's find my way back out of the room, then we'll fucking call it. Because I think I have done everything there is to do and killed everything in this cave. After you got chased deep inside of it? I've <laughs> killed everything in here. Teleporter pad! I'm gone! Stupid fucking Doom comic. Have you heard the Doom comic before? I've, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I remember that. It's a, like that's where Rip and Tear came from, was the comic. I do remember that, yeah. The comics were good. The comic was so fu like, It's so fucking stupid, and I love it to death because it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, super cheesy and corny. Yep. Well, I mean, it's got that B movie feeling. I just went in a circle, didn't I? <laughs> I'm actually not sure. The caves in this game are weird. Yeah, I did, because the, the, this is where I slept and leveled up. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I... I will find my way out. At least you didn't get turned into a vampire. Yeah. And sometimes when I'd sleep in a cave, I get turned into a vampire. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Which I feel like Skyrim, it's easier to be a vampire than it is in this one. Uh, being a vampire, even in Skyrim, is a pain in the dick. Like, oh, at yeah, least at least when you're a werewolf, you can kind of fucking hide it. And go to town, and people will just comment on fuzz coming out of your ears or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Being a vampire, you actually physically get fucking hurt. No, yeah, they just attack you on sight with a when you're being a vampire. Oh yeah, I forgot they attack you too. Certain people, anyway. Yeah, I know. As long as you like feed or something, you can go around and people won't attack you. You and you have to get rid of it quickly or you're stuck with it yeah I remember that okay I finally which made my way back out which is unfortunate what on earth is that statue All right, I'm gonna go find out what that statue is and then we'll call it okay, it's probably a daydream thing I love the daydream quests 
The Jabberwock. Yeah, dude, they're sick. They're, they're so fun. There's so many of them, too. They're so unique. Yeah. Yep, that, that's definitely what this is. Yeah. It's got to be what this is. All right, we're going to call it here. Thank you to everybody that tuned in. Next time I will be doing a uh, a video, uh, a one-off for episode 47 of Destiny, where we have a single-player quest that I need to take care of. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stream it, and it's probably going to be a very short stream because it's one quest and I'm like, seven levels over the recommended for it. <laughs> Destroy everything. Yeah. And then going to uh, upload that as episode 47 and then we'll get back to co oping through it with episode 48. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed my Jack and Daxter video and the King Kong I need to check out the King Kong video. And uh, we will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Later, everybody. <laughs>